Hi, good afternoon. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. Giving and give you a quick video walk around of this 2015 on a 64 plate. Uh, it's a Peugeot Expert 1.6 HDI Professional. So the Professional being the top of the range specification, which obviously gives you air conditioning, electric windows, electric mirrors, Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music, uh, amongst other things. Uh, this is the medium wheelbase twin side loading door model. Um, it is a two keeper from new vehicle. We supplied it originally to the second keeper. Uh, it's just recently arrived back in part exchange. Uh, in okay condition, uh, it's not 100% perfect. I'm gonna show you a few bits as we go around so you get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying. So if we start up here up on the roof, as you can see, you've got a couple of Vanguard roof bars. Um, we have a couple of just minor scabs there on the roof, okay? One there and just one on the front there. So what I would suggest that we do there is we'll get up there, T-cut it, uh, and get those touched in. That should stop it going any further, to be fair. Um, I think they've a galvanised shell, to be honest with you. So I don't think they'll, uh, they'll get any worse than what they are. Uh, which is just surface basically. Um, windscreen, as you can see, it's just difficult at the moment with the weather. I'm battling the weather, but um, it's, so it's just the heavens have opened before we've gone to video this. But windscreen, there's nothing major on there that's going to cause either of us any grief when it comes to MOT time. Coming down onto your bonnet, okay? The bonnet on the front end is overall not in bad condition. However, it was sign written. Uh, when they've taken the sign writing off, we've just got a little bit of a strange texture here on the bonnet. Um, so, not ideal, um, but it is there, okay? Um, we'll point it out to you. A few other minor stone chips and stuff, minor little marks, but nothing major. Uh, headlamp unit passenger side is all good. Passenger side front bumper corner is all good. Again, you know, really, really minor mark here, but nothing major. Coming round to the front grills, front grills are all good. Driver's side headlamp unit, that's all good. Driver's side front bumper corner, again, nothing major, but we do have a little bit of a scuff in the plastic there. Looking down the driver's side of the vehicle from this angle, uh, nothing major to point out to you. Driver's side front wing, not in bad condition. Steel wheel has elements of corrosion on it, um, but again, you know, that's not unusual, is it? And we have a, I think a budget tire on the front there. That tire has pretty good tire tread depth. I'll tell you where we are with tires. Anything less than three millimeters we replace, legal limit being 1.6 millimeters and a new tire being between seven and nine millimeters. Uh, mirror units all good. Upper and lower mirror units are all good. Door glass is fine driver's side door itself all pretty good your door lock and handle all good minor sort of wear and tear marks behind there a little bit of a touching required there but your door edges all line up as they should getting down low looking at your sills sills are in good order with no damage to them black plastic with protective strip down the side that is all pretty good minor minor mark you can hardly see it though door handle this side's fine and as you see as you can see it is a twin side loading door model <coughs> so just open that one up slides back inside the van it is ply lined inside of the rear doors yes there are signs of wear and tear on the paintwork but nothing major ply lining in the back has plenty of life left in it and then obviously you have a factory bulkhead in the back there as well entry seals not in bad condition steel wheel driver side rear elements of corrosion on that again budget tire on there that tire has plenty of tire tread depth as you can see Sliding door rail this side, still got the black protective plastic um, coating on it, so that's all good. Rear quarter this side, all looking good. Driver side rear 
bumper corners all good driver's side rear light unit all looking good looking down the side of the van no major dents or dings all looking pretty straight and tidy rear doors as you can see we've got rear barn doors on this vehicle they're not in bad condition high level brake lights all looking good look at your door edges as i bring the camera down all uh they've uh, line up as they should no major damage on them minor minor little couple of minor little dings there door handle and lock all okay uh rear bumper it's had a bit of a whack there at some point um so there is a little bit of a split there the reflector's all good um and the rear bumper i suppose it's seen a little bit of action hasn't it as you would expect it to have for the age but on the whole pretty straight Opening up the inside of the rear doors, they open up fine and they click into their door holder opener thingy majiggies, all good. As you see, all kind of ply lined, it's ready to do a job, isn't it? Rear light unit this side, that's all good. Rear bumper corner. Elements of just obviously, yeah, just um, elements of where it's just taken a little bit of a hit, but I, you know, look at it from a distance, it's all perfectly acceptable, isn't it? Um, looking down the side of the vehicle, again, nothing major to point out to you. Upper quarter this side. All looking good lower quarter this side's all good fuel flap is lockable uh, clean and tidy sliding door rail this side looking fine steel wheel element of closure on the steel wheel this side loads of tire tread depth on that tire though there you go sliding door passenger side all good sills lower sills all looking fine we have some scratching on your black protective strip. Sliding door opens fine, pushes back into place fine. And then just another viewpoint of the back of the van from this angle. Door shuts, etc. those are all clean and tidy as you'd expect. Or you might not expect it, but they're clean and tidy on ours. Passenger door glass, the door itself, all looking good, door handles. And then they all kind of line up fine as you'd expect. Mirror units, all good. And then passenger front wing, that's all looking fine as well. Steel wheel this side, pretty good condition to be fair. Tire on that one, all looking pretty good. Opening up your passenger door, the door card, clean and tidy. We have your bonnet release here. Open up that flap, pull that handle up towards you. I'll show you under the bonnet in a second. Entry seals, all looking pretty clean. Flooring, not looking too bad either. Dashboard fascia, you know, you've got some elements of wear and tear marks on there. Nothing significant, but there is stuff on there, okay? Um, we have glove box, ah oh yes, glove box lids broken on it. A really common fault on these things, um, and it isn't repairable, um, just so that you know. But well, it is repairable if you wanted to replace, like, uh, I think half the dash, it, but it's not, economically not viable. Headlining, storage above there, factory bulkhead, obviously. Seat trim, it's not perfect, it's not bad. I suppose the not perfect bit is we have a fag burn there, rather annoying. But uh, yeah, there we go. <coughs> bonnet, obviously we just opened it inside and then the bonnet release is there. And then just looking underneath your bonnet now. Yeah, it's all right, it's pretty clean and tidy, isn't it? There's your coolant, your coolant has no contamination in it. That's all looking good. respectable under there isn't it
driver's side door card, all good. Electric windows, electric mirrors. Entry seals on this side, not too bad. Driver's side flooring, elements of wear and tear. So obviously we've been in and out of it, so it could do with another clean. A little bit of wear on the floor there. Pedal rubbers are all looking pretty good. Driver's seat itself. Uh, they go a little bit saggy here from where you hit it every time you get in and out. Obviously, handbrakes on this side. But, uh, oh, I made on the whole all pretty clean and tidy. Top of your dashboard. Vents. And then, <coughs> steering wheel. They wear, I'm afraid, unfortunately. All right, I'm just going to have to patch that video back together because the telephone went. But as you can see, wear on the steering wheel, really common on these things. Um, you'd probably be better to get yourself a steering wheel cover um, if it bothers you. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, and then we have, um, spec-wise, they're not a bad spec van. Um, so uh, you've got Bluetooth telephone, Bluetooth music, you've got your onboard computer system. So let's just turn that down. Your onboard computer system here, giving you your average MPG and your range and all of that. You've got FM and another phone call so um anyway so fm am on the stereo bluetooth telephone bluetooth music the all important air conditioning got auxiliary power there as well uh, central locking for the back end obviously heater controls uh, five speed manual gearbox reverse gear is all the way to the right and then backwards uh, no parking sensors on this we can retrofit them for you if you wanted to ask us for a quote um indicators and lights on that stalk and then uh, wipers are on that stalk and that button there just runs you through your computer system up here and horns on your steering wheel here flooring's not in bad condition in between your seats and stuff not too bad condition um, and there we go so two owners from new 98,000 miles uh, professional model so nice specification with aircon and bluetooth twin side loading doors you've got those vanguard roof bars as well you've got an air vent up there on the roof as well not in bad overall condition you know yes it's got a few bits of wear and tear on it but there's nothing sort of significant on there um and um there you go there are 60 to 70 photos of the van on our website our website is vanstoday.com we are vans today worcester offering you nationwide delivery part exchange and finance Feel free to give us a call 01905 672 080 email me sales at today.com. Thanks for looking at the video. There's about 12 minutes of your life you're never going to get back, but hopefully it gives you a good indication of what you're buying. Cheers.